Good morning, STM. On this day, 58 years ago, Canada raised its official national flag for the first time. Prior to 1965, Canada had flown the Canada Red on sign, which visually expressed our close ties with Britain. In 1964, Lester B. Pearson created an all-party committee to review and choose a new flag that would represent Canada's international sovereignty and national unity. The colors of the Canadian flag, red and white, became Canada's official colors in 1921. Originally, they represented the shared heritage of French and English. However, today, we recognize that the red and white now stand for the many nations and cultures that call Canada their native land. The maple leaf has been an emblem of Canada used by many throughout Canada's history. During the First and Second War, it was used by Canadian soldiers to distinguish themselves from other nations. As today is Flag Day, may we be reminded of the nation which we call Canada. May we be reminded of our unity and the knowledge that together we are stronger. We are truly blessed to call ourselves Canadians. Let us remember the greater dominion of God today. We are a holy nation within a nation. Over our heads fly the Canadian flag, but our soul belongs to the King of Kings. A reminder you invited to our chapel after school where the rosary will be offered for our country. Grateful for the gift of life and for our country, let us begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Ruler Supreme who hears our humble prayer, hold our dominion of Canada in your loving care. Help us to find, O oh God in thee, a lasting rich reward, as waiting for the better day, we ever stand on guard. God, keep our land glorious and free. O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. St. Thomas More, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning, St. Thomas More. Just a couple morning announcements. The first one refers to prom. Senior prom is tomorrow. The doors will open at 6 p.m. and the event will end promptly at 11 p.m. Please make sure your rides are at Carmen's to pick you up no later than 11 p.m. All guests must have identification, preferably your school ID to enter the event. Code check will be available. You'll be subject to search upon entry and no backpacks are allowed into the banquet hall. Please keep this in mind that police and security will be present at the event tomorrow night. You'll not be allowed into the prom if you're under the influence uh, or in possession of alcohol or drugs, and school consequences will be issued. Additionally, no vapes are allowed in the banquet hall and they will be confiscated if found. Once you have entered the banquet hall, there will be no in and out privileges. If you leave the hall, you will not be allowed to re-enter the event. Again, please make sure your rides are here, there, no later than 11 p.m. to pick you up. This includes calling any cabs or Ubers ahead of time, not once the dance is over. We also like to uh, thank our staff advisors who put tremendous hard work in and student council uh, for putting this event together. And a special thank you as well um, for all those hardworking clerical staff um, who have given, um, gone beyond and above their duty to make prom a success. In terms of sports, we've had a quite successful sports uh, season. A special thank you to all the coaches and teams that have completed their season. That's our basketball teams have completed their season and our novice uh, girls volleyball team. Special thank you to all the time and effort that the coaches and the teams have put in. Good luck to our senior girls volleyball team who advanced to the city championships against BT next week. It's going to be an amazing game, so I do encourage you to come out and support that event. Our junior girls volleyball are in the championship this Thursday, that's tomorrow, uh, against Carl Newman at Carl Newman. Uh, uh, fan support would be appreciated and to cheer those young ladies on to victory. And good luck to both our boys and girls hockey team who are in semifinal actions against Bishop Ryan today. On that note, have a wonderful day. Good morning, STM. I am Sarah, back from your nights fighting cancer. This February, KFC is creating awareness about gallbladder and bile duct cancer. What exactly is the gallbladder, you may ask? Well, the gallbladder is a small pear-shaped organ that is part of our digestive system. It stores bile and digestive fluids produced by our liver. Unfortunately, this type of cancer can go unnoticed in its earlier stages until it progresses further into the later stages. Sometimes, some symptoms in the later stages include jaundice, pain in the upper right side or central part of the abdomen, and weight loss. The best way to prevent this disease is to live a healthy lifestyle, and as always, early diagnosis is key. To create awareness, members of KFC will be wearing green ribbons this month. 
Don't forget to follow us at STMKFC on Instagram and TikTok. Hey STM, I'm Yasmina. And I'm Galena, here with an announcement from your Morbotics team. Do you find yourself always feeling hungry during the day? Or maybe in between classes and looking for a fun snack to eat? Well, we have the solution for you. This is just a reminder that our robotics team is going to be selling Colonel's Popcorn during the last week of February. School cash online pre-order sales are open this week until Friday, February 17th. Each bag will cost $2.75 on school cash online. The flavors we are selling are dill pickle, caramel, butter salt, white cheddar, ketchup, and salt and vinegar. So don't forget to place your orders ASAP. Have, Have a, a wonderful, wonderful day, day, STM. Hey STM, my name is Malvina and I'm Jada and we're here from United Against Racism. This is a reminder to all UAR members that there will be a meeting today in the lecture hall after school. <laughs> this meeting is for general and executive members. See you then. Hello STM, the United Way is a vital organization that directly helps people in need right here in the STM community. The United Way helps people to help themselves and to be a better and stronger community. With Asher, he's, he's only three years old, but we didn't think that it was too early for him to start uh, realizing the impact of giving back to the community. A lot of people don't understand what United Way is all about, and part of what I like to do is, is be able to sway them to understand more about what it's all about. He gets the opportunity to experience camp like every other child without the assistance of United Way. I don't think we'd be able to do what we do with Evan. If the United Way wasn't there, the game change probably wouldn't happen. That was the, the help that I needed. We'd just be a mess without the United Way. Thanks to the kindness of the United Way and volunteers, I'm, I'm able to have a decent life. Together we are possible. To show our support of the United Way, students and staff are encouraged to wear a red or white t-shirt today, February 15th. Students and staff are also encouraged to donate to the United Way fundraiser using school cash online. A $2 donation will earn you a ballot in our United Way raffle. A $10 donation will earn you five raffle ballots and so forth. Many great prizes and gift cards will be raffled off to students and staff who donate to school cash online. With a $100 Visa gift card as a grand prize, prizes will be drawn next week. St. Thomas More, show that amazing school, peer, school spirit through your generous online donations. Change starts with you. Good morning, STM. My name is Delina. And my name is Claire, and here are your announcements for today. Thank you to the overwhelming amount of students who came out to the school play information session. Audition sign-up sheets for our spring show, My Cousin Lino, have been posted outside of room 102. A second day of auditions happening next Wednesday, February 22nd, has been added due to the high demand. We look forward to seeing all of your auditions. Need Christian service hours? Do you want to help save a life? There'll be a blood donor clinic taking place on Tuesday. You must be 17 to give blood. Please go to Student Success to sign up. And now for your sports. The senior girls volleyball team is going to the city championship. The team defeated Bishop Ryan in three straight sets last night and will be facing league rivals Bishop Tonis in the championship next Wednesday in our home gym. Come cheer on your nights. Last night, our junior girls volleyball team beat ACMT in the semifinals. It was a total team effort. Way to go, ladies. We'll be playing Newman in the championship game this Thursday at 4 p.m. Our last practice for the season is today at 5 p.m. Please bring your old jerseys to return. See you at practice. Your novice girls volleyball team played their semifinal game last night against BT. Although the girls played a tough game, they ultimately fell short, losing three sets. The girls had a great season and improved tremendously since their first game. You should all be proud of the effort you put in. Good luck to all of you next year at the junior level. Thanks, Thanks STM. Hey, STM. Would all grade 11 classes please leave your televisions on for an important presentation about course selection? Grade 11 students who are not in the grade 11 class, please proceed to the lecture hall to view the presentation. STM. Those are all of your announcements. The time is now 8.24, and remember, it's a great day to be a nice. night.